Last time on Just Roll With It. And now for my final attack. I'll grapple you and then use my movement to fly straight up. <laughs> Nani? 50 feet, 100 feet, 200 feet. Can we get much higher? So high! If he lets me go, I'll fall into the ground! Kuba, Kuba, Kuba. Now you see, Tight Strider, there is no escape! Except you forgot to check my inventory. What? Ever deploys! Anchor! Activate! 10,000 pounds! How thrilling! The DC-32 strength Yes! Your destiny is to say, but with a natural 20 roll, I could still avoid it! But with a natural 20 roll, I could still avoid it! <laughs> you forgot, Kuba. I still have a bonus action! I use my quicken spell and cast Enlarge! This spell causes the target size to double in all dimensions and multiply its weight by eight. No! That spell causes the target size to double in all dimensions and multiply its uh, weight by eight! Yes! Do you know that the large spell if you use that with double dimension the target and also increases its weight by eight times? Um... Uh, yeah. Anyway, the target I choose. That's right. Uh, the anchor. What? A DC 102 strength check? There's no way that can be right! That's right! And that does seem pretty broken! Yep, I'm definitely gonna nerf that. Okay, no, that's fair. But you forgot one thing, Tide Strider. Did I? You're still in my mouth! I did! Oh, I really did forget about that. <laughs> What's up, everyone? It's Grizzly. I'm the DM for Riptide. Welcome back. Here they are. Hi, I'm Bisley, and I play Chip. Hey, guys, what's up? It's me, Condi. I played Jay Farron. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Charlie, bring it in. Hey! 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 I'm Charlie Slimesicle, and I play Gillian Tidestrider, Pussy Slayer. Bye! Charlie would make an amazing sim. Tell me you can't imagine the diamond over his head, bro. <laughs> Why are we last left off? Chip. As the raft ambush ensued in the main road of the Golden Circle Market, you were individually targeted by a crow, an assassin close with Price, dead set on revenge, using Rufus as a means to get to you, only to be set dead at the end of your fight. Parting with words of blame for this world's now inevitable ruin. Gillian, you faced off against Koopa Kenta and managed to crush him under the weight of an 80,000 pound magical anchor. Nearly dying to the fall damage yourself, but making it out alive, or as the Vice Admiral did not. Jay, this was the last place you wanted a reunion with your childhood friend Kira, who failed to understand what has happened to you, why you've become a pirate, and why you now hang around this crew. With the Vice Admiral's defeat, she offered to call the battle your win and allowed all of you to leave without calling reinforcements. And now, the three of you, captains of the Riptide Pirates, said your goodbyes to a recovering Rufus and set sail toward the town of Zero on the island Canela. And so, the journey continues. Go ahead to bed for a long rest, and you all take it. Oh, shit! Let's go! You all wake up the following morning, around the same usual time. The sun rises, and uh, the sounds of the wind sort of rattling the, the wooden hatch above your interior dorm. A little bit of uh, Ollie shouting coming from uh, above. Can I do a nightmare test? Because I got the, I'm thinking, I'm just like, I got the claw inside, marks. Like, is he going to juke ahead, me? Yeah, go ahead, roll inside. Is he going to fucking juke me, dude? Yeah, okay, hang on. I got a 10. With a 10, it's up to you how skeptical Gillian is or not. Okay, I think real, guys. Would you all wake up? And this day, your first day of travel, you're already headed out of uh, Allport, back in the Southern Ocean, the, the Royal Blue. 
And uh, it's yours for the day. If you have anything you'd like to do during this morning, the afternoon, the evening. You said we all wake up? Yeah. Grandpa! Oh, except for Fen. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, buddy. Damn. I jump up, I launch out of the bed, and I run Whoosh. all the way to the top deck. Uh, this this sound, as you like, like, like climb up, expeditedly, expeditiously? What's the word? Expeditiously. You just zoom up. There we go. You rock it up into the main deck, and it, it fucking startles Jay. Not you, Killian, but... Where's Ollie? Uh, he is currently running around the main deck as well, and as soon as you get up, he's like has his arms stretched out. He's kind of like making airplane noises. I stop <laughs> dead in my tracks, and there's a silence. Be careful, Ollie. Huh? There's a sea monster. <laughs> and I start running after him. He punches you in the gut. He goes, take this, my meaty mountain attack. Ah, yeah. oh, boom. Okay, he fucking hits me. How hard does this kid hit? Because he's strong as <laughs> strong as hell. You're gonna die, bro. He's gonna roll the hit first. Hold on. Rolls a natural 17. So with that, Ooh. you only take three points of bludgeoning damage. It does knock. It does uh, sort of knock your wind out, but you've actually been hit by some pretty heavy things. So you just kind of instinct instinctively brace your your gut there. He punches me in the gut as I'm running towards him, and I double over. Oh! Yeah, that's right. No monster oh. can take me down. Oh, I'm vanquished. Oh, uh, Tim? oh. Tim? are you okay? Uh, oh my god, no. I killed him. I'm no, sorry. No, come closer, Ollie. Okay, he gets come closer. closer. He starts crying a little bit. What? Closer, even closer. <laughs> his I'm nose sorry, is like touching my know. face. Even closer. I grabbed the back of his head. I know your bones are weak. I didn't mean it. I'm so frail. I'm so bones. I'm so I'm, I'm just dust. <laughs> like oh, class. listen. I said. <laughs> it's why you hide time. all the time. I don't have much time, Ollie. <laughs> Killian, help him. He's gonna die. Lay your hands. No, 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 so it's too late for me. Put your hands on him. It's too late for me, Ollie. No, <laughs> Jim, no, you don't can't. cry. Don't cry. <laughs> don't cry. The only way for me to come back is if we catch a fish. <laughs> What? Let's catch a fish, man. No, oh, explain how does that work? I don't know. I just it just made sense. No, it's, it's it's I look at I look at Ollie dead in the eyes and I say try and I cast haste on myself. <laughs> <laughs> Start running in the okay, other everybody direction. Roll <laughs> oh, <my> God. <laughs> oh god, I got a 6. Oh, I have advantage on initiative. I got a two at first, but now I got a four. So that's a 10 total. I got a 19. As soon as you say that and you cast haste in yourself, you begin to like vibrate a little bit. The water <laughs> molecules like slowly lift off of your skin. My he moisture. Goes, so this is the game you want to play, huh? He takes out a coin from his vest and he, uh -oh. he sort of puts it between what? his two fingers. He holds what? it in front of you all. And we're about to play my favorite game. Tag. And then he just flicks it up really high with the, the mountain giant strength into the into the clouds. And he says, hey, lower the anchor. It's tag time. Gillian, you're in. Yeah, I mean, that's going to take like five minutes to come down. Can I, should I just hide? <laughs> or, oh, I would if I was you. Whoever's it, when that coin comes down and hits the deck, dies. Okay, <laughs> let's do this. Oh <laughs> Wait, what? All right, first up, Jay. If Jay moves first, I full on like predator shark eyes instantly. <laughs> fucking stay shoot over to look at her. Um, yeah. I see her so, twitch. <laughs> uh, I come out onto the deck. I'm, I'm drinking some coffee that probably old man Earl made, uh, because he's back on the ship now. It's citrus flavored. I, I feel the piercing gaze of Gillian. I freeze. <laughs> the entire atmosphere for you changes immediately. You know this shit's about to go down. How how far away is Gillian from me right now? Those better have been some good beans. So they're all about mid deck on the main deck, and you are in danger. <laughs> I jump off the ship. In water? Bad move, Jay Farron. <laughs> I'm gonna jump off the I'm gonna jump off the fucking ship, but I'm gonna grab into a ladder on the edge of it and then throw a rock into the water to make a splash. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's actually a genius. The way this is going to work, guys, is you're going to unarmed strike, and if you hit someone's AC, they're it. They have been tagged. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I just throw something. I don't know. Surely they have something that can make a splash. You, you see a full-bodied person <laughs> jump off the side of the ship and then hear a... 
You know, that's exactly what happens. Yeah, Jay's just holding onto the, the side ladder as she like jumped off. <laughs> Can I do like a performance check or something to see how convincing my, my jump off the ship was? Yeah, it would be deception, actually. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's like 11, man. <laughs> that's about that's about what a small rock will get you anyways. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Chip, what are you doing? I am going to get up from my position, uh, pushing Ollie and yell, every man for himself! And I want to <laughs> dart up uh, into like the area where the sails are and I want to hide. Okay. <laughs> Let me use my action to dash and I'm going to bonus action hide. My character's built for tag and hide and seek. Dude, you actually are. I'm the I worst th person to be it. This is horrifying. Just roll a dexterity saving throw as Ollie uses his reaction to trip you. Ooh, <laughs> what? Ooh, oh, I did leave his Whoa. range. No, no, no. Okay, you just make a strength saving throw. That's all. A strength saving throw? Thank God, because that was going to be bad. Okay. 16. Okay, with a 16, you're able to hop over the foot. Uh, he goes, damn it. I mean, dang it. Darn it. Shit. <laughs> and then you run up and you do exactly what you said before. <laughs> okay. Do I got to hide? Uh, that is bonus action for you, correct? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, roll stealth. Anyone who wants to try and perceive uh, Chip will have to beat his stealth. It would be a 14, but because I have reliable talent and I am... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have an expertise in stealth, that's going to be a 21. No one's finding you, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you up, did it. You beat the game. <laughs> next won. up is Ollie. He looks around. He sees that Jay and Chip have both deserted him. And you're like right in front of him, Gillian. So he starts to like back up. I'm doing like the slowest blink of all time. Like I've closed my <laughs> eyes. And by the time they're going to be open, everyone's going to be fucking gone. He's going to back up a little bit. He looks a little scared. His knee's wobbling. But then he readies himself. And he goes, bring it. Fish. I'm going to catch this fish, but I got to be it first. So I'll give you one free tag. And then he uh, holds an action, you see. <laughs> he seems to ready himself for you. Okay, okay. All right, and it's your turn. You know how tag works, right? Yeah, I invented this game. Wait, then how does tag work? Because I've never heard of it before now. <laughs> it's like you're it. So you have the bad touch, and if you touch someone else successfully, then they get the bad touch, and you no longer have the bad touch. So you're gonna have the bad touch someone else. No, I don't have the bad touch, Charlie. I you can't do have right the bad now. touch. Well, then you have to touch someone to get rid of it because you have the bad touch. What's one more burden, Ollie? He got the cheese touch. <laughs> this, this bad touch, what will it do to you? Are you just gonna lose on purpose? Wait, so how do you win? You don't have the bad touch when the coin hits the deck. That coin? And I look up. Not in the. You see like a little tiny circle in the cloud above where, okay. it, where it disappeared into. It's <laughs> so not down yet. Okay. <laughs> I tried to get him to look up, and if he does, I just sprint towards him. <laughs> hey, he's global enough. No, it's not coming down yet. He looks up, and then, uh, okay, he's yeah, just him. running out of a top speed. <laughs> um. I am going to, I guess I'll just run at him as fast as possible and then slap him <laughs> across the face. <laughs> okay, and try so. To send him into a full spiral. Um, because he's, you're going to roll a disadvantage because he was holding the dodge action. Oh, I see, I see. That is a natural 20 <laughs> oh and God. a 14. So a 22 total. A 14 is going to do it. So I fully. <laughs> Give him the bad touch. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, it, at first it seems like he's gonna dodge it, but then he sort of stumbles and rolls his angle, and you manage to catch the flaw in his uh, in, in experience. You give him the bad touch. I'm sorry, my boy. <laughs> ah, no. But I Not won't like let this. you give any of my friends the bad touch either. And oh, I, st oh. I stand there directly in front of him and do not move. <laughs> Jay, you hear all of this going on? It's your turn. I'd like to climb back up the ladder and peek over. Are right, you peek over? Yeah, easy enough. Yeah, I'm just going to watch this <laughs> from a distance. You see T Gillian, his presence grows ever so larger uh, as he is uh, defensive, protecting uh, protectors ready. Yeah, I'd like to, if somebody runs at me, I'd like to uh, hold the spell blur. Oh, in that case, Chip, uh, you're successfully hidden. You just disappear. You know you do. 
and uh, no one notices, but what you notice below you now is uh, Ollie has the bad touch. He's it, and there seems to be no uh, movable way around Gilead. Um, I, I don't do shit. Fuck him. I'm winning. Okay, in that case, next up, Ollie looks at you, Gillian. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he looks around, his eyes darting quickly. He clenches his <laughs> fist. <laughs> One with B, champ. Tag, you're it! And then he tries to punch you. Gillian smirks and uses the readied action and says, <laughs> no tag backs. <laughs> 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 he actually rolled a three. Bro, stop. You're dead in his tracks. So he, That's a rule. <laughs> it's just, his hand, by the rules of tag, his hand like an inch away from my face just fucking freezes. It, it does, it does, right in further. time. In that case, he's going to try and uh, dart around you. When someone tries to leave my reach, I get an opportunity attack. <laughs> and if I hit it, it, their speed is reduced to zero. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, do I get t- do I get tag backs if if do I become it if I touch him or is it guys what are the rules of tag? Fuck around and find out, bro. Okay, okay, I'm going to fuck around and find out. I'm going to I'm going to try and stop him. All right, roll to hit. Okay, I got a 26. Dude, what? <laughs> Jesus. He's man. like Yeah, okay. How do you uh, how do you hit him? Play tag um, with a kid. Uh I just I just I just start like Moving, I make my arms real big and I start making ominous sounds and moving around him really fast. <laughs> Gillian! What whoa, the fuck? Whoa, I mean, what the whoa. heck, man? I can't tell you I have to tag someone else first if the coin lands and- You and either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become it! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna drop my ball bearings around Gillian, <laughs> but not Ollie. Okay, so these rains, uh, it rains little metal balls around you, Gillian. And I hide again. <laughs> oh God! Okay. <laughs> I'd like to locate ship. Roll perception. Ah, oh, so close. Eighteen. So Jay, as you're looking around for Chip, sorry, I'm hijacking, but you do hear in your mind, Chip think, "Man, nobody's gonna find me hidden up here in these in these <laughs> uh, sails up here, right in this specific position, just past the crow's nest." Because you do have the fucking bracelet, bro. You you know my thoughts. You know where I'm at. You also have to re-roll your stealth check because you used an action to do something. Bet. That's fine. I mean, it still would be a 21, right? Um, oh, just like it's by 24 default now? now. Yeah. Okay. It's 24 now, so it's just higher. <laughs> 21 is minimum. Yeah, with his thoughts, you're able to know where he is. You just don't see him. Okay. I'm trying to think of what all he's going to try and do because he can't tag you yet. He's going to wrap his arms around your hips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Wait, 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 only, only, what are you doing? No tag box, man. What is this? You're not going to be it. But you're not going to be in the game anymore either. (laughs) No, No, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do it. He's going to go for a grapple. Okay, that's a 21 on his strength check. Okay, I'm going to make an athletics check. I got a 20. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) damn. You're fucked. You feel yourself starts to get lifted up. Your 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 waist, you, the bottom of your rib cage just squeeze oh, no. so tightly, <laughs> and he just whoosh, back tosses you like suplexes you off the ship. Oh my god! <laughs> you go about you go flying about fifteen feet back, and you land into the water. Do I see Jay if I go over the edge? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, definitely. Jay, what are you doing down here on this side of the ship? Shit. <laughs> That's not very fair. <laughs> he looks over and he makes eye contact with me, peeking over the fucking railing. All's fair in tag, Jay. And I'm going to reach out my hand to her and I'm going to cast Vortex Warp. And Jay has to make a con saving throw. Uh, 19. Yeah, that saves. Oh my god. <laughs> Never mind. But I do get another action. <laughs> no. And I'm going to <laughs> fucking do it again. <laughs> you son of a bitch. No. Come on, baby. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, come on, you piece of shit. All right. Guess I'll just float here then. You'll never give me the bad touch. Hope everyone's having fun. Uh, which <laughs> which sail is Chip on? This is a real question. Yeah, it's just the main sail because you guys are under it right now. Okay the middle one on the main deck. Jay is going to break from her hiding spot and run up towards the helm. Don't do this to me. I don't deserve this from you. <laughs> you feel it. You feel it. I don't. Probably watches you run up to the helm and he goes, all right, I'm coming. It was a 19 to hit as soon as Uh-oh. he gets there. Uh-oh. It just like smacks the back of your back. Jay smirks. 
<laughs> this is exactly what you, she wanted. No, you don't, you motherfucker. <laughs> oh no, what happens? Does she, does she get hit? Um, yeah, she does get hit. She's not going to cast shield. Okay, thank God. I thought you were about to do it. I saw you thinking about it. Like, how much do we bully this poor child? <laughs> he goes, yes! No attack backs! And he starts to uh, turn around nice. and she's going to run away. That's okay. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Did those ball bearings not do anything, by the way? I mean, no, because he tossed you away. But they're still there. Okay. Let us not forget the presence. Um, yeah, I'm sure they'll come back to haunt me. As I climb back onto the ship and immediately <laughs> step onto them. Yeah, I, I am going to climb back onto the ship. I don't want to just float out here in the ocean forever. Okay, just make a dexterity uh, saving, Doug. Is it a dex stay? All right, I've got advantage with haste, actually. That is going to be an 18. A DC 10, so yeah, you're good. Oh, damn. Ball bearings fucking suck, bro. Yeah, they're not great. Yeah. <laughs> okay, all right, sick. I'm going to start wheeling around on them, and I'm just going to start gliding around like when you have socks on a hardwood floor, and it's really fun. Mm -hmm. Um... And I'm gonna glide on over to. So what I see Ollie and and Jay on one side. I've seen that Jay has become it. She's got the bad touch. Are there any other crewmates on the ship? Yes. Basically towards the forecastle, you see in, the, in that corner near the steps is Griffin just sort of sitting on a barrel. He's like carving up a, a, an orange at the moment. Inside, you know that Earl is in the uh, crew's quarters, which we call it now, basically the captain's quarters. And you don't see Dre either, so yeah, just Griffin and Alphonse. Alphonse is by the helm, where Jay is. Hey, uh, Griffin, can you can you get up for a second? I think I left something on that barrel. This is about the tag game. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm not. Uh... Wait, 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 wait. Hang on, hang on. No. I don't care. I'm not playing. He gets up. I get in the barrel. <laughs> he sits back down. <laughs> Perfect. Just go ahead and roll south for him. <laughs> like, with advantage? <laughs> My thought is no one's gonna fucking ask him to move. Um, okay, I got a fucking four. <laughs> I got a six minus two. All this means is that pretty much everyone knows that you just went into that barrel. By the way, that was sarcasm. We are playing tag. Jay reaches into her pocket and she pulls out. A coin. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no. Surely there are alarms <laughs> blaring in your head right now as your swords <laughs> keep you from being surprised, but I'm going to flip it. You feel this tingling sense of dread, Ship? Danger is incoming. <laughs> <laughs> it's imminent. Oh, heads. Okay. Uh, it doesn't really matter because both work for me. Uh, heads is updraft control wins. Oh, dear God. So I'd like to cause an updrafting on chip out of the sail. Oh, God. Oh, my God. It's a 100-foot it's a cube of air that is in the uh, in the spot of the of the main sail now. Bro, that's definitely <laughs> all of us. <laughs> and uh, you get to choose. Is it calm, moderate, or strong? Strong. <laughs> okay. So all of a sudden, there's this whoosh, this like eh, torrential storm, this gust of updraft wind that blows into uh, the mainsail and ship your fucking cheeks just go like they start flapping by. <laughs> it exposes all of your teeth. Do I roll anything to stay there? Or does it just oh my God. send um, me? Roll a strength saving throw again. 12, but if you let me bullshit it, it would have been 17. You, <laughs> you, for all intents and purposes, get knocked out of the main sail and fall prone onto the fucking ground. Lord, <laughs> have I would like mercy. to start running oh, towards no. shit. Oh, I, no. Oh, no. I book him. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think an updraft keeps you away from the ground. You're still prone. Wait, so I'm floating? Because it's going up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're floating. Oh, that's even better for me. You're still, uh, you're still, you're still. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna say you're still kind of like off balance yeah. by this, but you are floating in midair yeah, no, now. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump off the railing and try to like jump towards him using the updraft. <laughs> hey, it, come on! We said no magic. Did we? I don't recall. That definitely wasn't the case, Chip. So she's coming for you. What do you do? I'm trying to air swim my way. I want to, I want to get down. <laughs> you spin like extra movement just trying to move against the wind because it's so strong. All of your attack rolls and whatnot have advantage while you're in this, or disadvantage while you're in this as well. I use my bonus action to dash. How much How much does this take for me? I think you just sort of float down eventually. It just takes longer. I think you need to resign yourself to being it, bro. I don't think it's strong enough to keep you afloat the whole time. Just, I just say roll athletics for like avoiding this hazard. That's a dirty, nasty, stanky 20. 
Jesus. Okay. Um, where are you trying to go? The the Down. cube is a hundred feet, so it's covering the entire ship right now. It's even lifting some of the water. You can get to the deck, but you're still fighting against the wind that is going up. I'm trying to hide. I don't know where you're gonna get to hide at this point. Barrel. Which barrel is Gillian in? That one. Uh, Griffin is yeah, sitting Griffin's on top sitting of it. Griffin's sitting on mine. Fuck. <laughs> I get in another up. barrel. We no. got a shit ton of barrels over here. Now we need to find a way to mix them up. You open the barrel, but the lid like flies up off into the sky and into the ocean because of the wind. <laughs> oh shit. Dude, I was thinking ahead, bro. I somehow. Yeah, you have, you have force of gravity. I got Griffin. <laughs> He's not going up. He's not going up. Hey, Chip. Hey, hey. Chip. I, I, <laughs> Are you saying this from under Griffin's over, ass? Over here, over here. It's muffled. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Griffin, is your ass talking? <laughs> what? <laughs> What's that? What was it? Was that his ass? What was, what was that? Was that his ass talking? I think we're done. Those are the, fu <laughs> <laughs> Those are the fucking like sounds of the cheeks flapping from the wind. Dude, that is oh, not what oh I got, bro. God. You just said this is ass I talking can't. in my brain. I just that, that was ass talking sounds. I got, <laughs> I got I have wrong cheeks in my mind. Wrong oh my cheeks. God. Oh my god, that's so fucking funny, dude. You heard what he said, Chip. Get in here. I can't get anywhere. <laughs> I can I hide at all? You can you can try and stealth in the barrel you opened with, but it'd be a disadvantage. It doesn't even matter. I don't think they saw me get in here, Chip. You gotta get in with me. Uh, there's no way I have enough movement to get over to Gillian, huh? No, no, not while you're no. fighting the wind. No, okay. Plus, Jay's like right above you at this point. <laughs> so trying to stealth while you're being perceived is a little difficult. <laughs> no one saw me, Chip. No one. It's a good barrel. No one will see you. Gillian, everybody can hear you now. Then I, I guess I don't hide. If I'm actively being perceived, then I will just try and make my way as far from Jay as I possibly can. Okay. Um, and I would like to pull out my hempen rope, use my action to dash, and I run as far from my, as far as I can from Jay. Okay. So Ollie's just gonna sit on the steps and hold on for dear life as the wind is like <laughs> blowing him around, like a rag doll. <laughs> can these guys deafen? What? I got. <laughs> I want to cast minor illusion to make it look like I am basically teleporting out of the barrel and asking him to give me the bad touch like I'm you know being the the, the hero or whatever so I'm gonna make it look like I'm trying to get away with the thing I'm gonna make it look like I pop out and then like they see me and I'm like come at me it's a five by five cube Gillian is five one <laughs> so he will be exactly one inch shorter. Okay, uh, since it's a cantrip, I'll say you can make Gillian. He just can't do any sounds. In that case, I'm just going to say something, and then he's just going to appear and do nothing. Okay, <laughs> that's good. All right. Also, the coin was supposed to come down, but because there's an upwind, it will never <laughs> come down. <laughs> Holy shit, that's so, so fucking funny. I don't know how to end this tag game anymore. Looks like I'll have to use that. And you see, as in this flash and puff of this like fey glitter, Gillian materializes on the deck and takes a stance you have never seen him take before. Dear gods, the fish has returned to the games. And he just stands there stoically <laughs> squinting, the wind blowing back his, his hair majestically, All right. saying not a word. Okay, Jay, you're gonna have to also fight the winds to get down. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, do I need to roll athletics for like, or yep. what's the deal? Yeah, it's athletics. Oh, 11. It's gonna use more of your movement than Chip, but you're able to get down? Yeah, actually, no, it's okay, because I can cancel it whenever. I can cancel now. You just cancel it? Yeah. Well, I don't need okay, it anymore. So <laughs> the coin will finally come down. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking the same thing. That coin's never gonna come down with these wins. I just told Charlie, I was like, <laughs> yeah, God, this will really never funny. end. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, you cancel it, you drop, you roll, uh, tuck and roll into the main deck. Where are you going? Wait, why would you cancel uh, it while you're still it? You're, oh God, what have you done? Is Chip within range of me? Like, would I be able to go for a hit? Just because of the wind, it's going to take the rest of your movement to go for a hit. Yeah. What? I, I dashed away. I had 90 feet of movement speed. He's gone. He's gone, man. Yeah. Okay. So even even with the wind, he would be like 10, 10 to 15 feet out of your range using all of your movement. Okay. And he'd be near the, the, the but Gillian's other side of the ship now. Easy enough. Okay. Jay disappears. Now hang what? on. <laughs> now hold up a moment. <laughs> hang on. G Gillian squints a little harder. No, you can't see her. She's gone. Oh, oh, oh no. 
and I'd like to move 30 feet towards Jim. What do you, what, what I, what are you? I casted the invisibility sh spell. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Good to know. Chip, at this point, you're headed towards, you've like passed Griffin at this point. You're up the steps, the, the, the very front of the ship almost. Okay. You see Gillian down below. How close am I to Gillian? Right now, now you're about like 20 feet away. 20 feet past, away? You're like, okay. you've moved. So, I would like to find the most crowded area I can find, not as far as people goes, but just stuff that I could slip behind and hide for half a second. If I can leave Jay's vision. I guess I don't know where she is. I don't care, I don't care, but I can still hide. Maybe, maybe, and there's, I mean, there's a lot of sails, you know, I hide in a sail or something like that. I hide, and then I want to use my bandana of disguise to look like Gillian, and then go stand in a similar pose. You want to go stand next to Gillian in yeah. this yep. similar pose? Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. You can't roll lower than a 21? No. For stealth? No, okay. my God, this is incredible. I'll still roll it, though. Jay would be watching him, to be fair. 23. You just have to roll perception to see if you lose sight or not. Okay. Because he's going to, like, duck behind crates and barrels. Oh, that's a 10. So you don't know which one is the real Gillian? <laughs> <laughs> he basically makes it up the steps. Uh, just a bit past you, you disappear. You see Chip's feet, like, go up the steps into the onto the front of the ship. And then coming back down the other side, the other steps, you look to your right, you see Gillian coming back down <laughs> and then walk up next to the other Gillian and take the same pose. It's Ollie's turn. Uh, he, he calms down, brings himself back up from all the wind. He looks, he sees two Gillians. His eyes Choose go wide. Choose Ollie. Which one's the real Gillian? I say that like Gillian. <laughs> oh my God. Gilly, Gillian just squints even more wistfully. I also squint wistfully. But I don't have the bad touch. Um. He looks up towards the sky. It's coming. <laughs> oh my god. I'm safe. I mean, Jay, like, watched Chip go up the stairs and then a second Gillian come down the stairs. Yeah, but that's lame. Yeah, but that's lame. Yeah, but that's lame. Yeah, but that's lame. Yeah, but but there's a lot of wind. And so there's, like, tears in your eyes and stuff. And so, like, you don't know. Because, like, you don't know which one. <laughs> you definitely lost sight of Chip. Even when you were invisible, you definitely lost sight of him. You also definitely noticed Gillian come back down the steps. Come back down the stairs. And I know that Chip has the bandana. I'm not a fucking dumb... I'm just gonna walk up to Chip while invisible and take him. But which one is Chip? The one that walked down the stairs. Left her, next wait, 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 no, no, no. I think this should I think this should be a coin flip, guys. I'm gonna Are be you honest. are you sure? <laughs> are you sure? Are, which you sure one are you positive that one's Chip? I'm gonna take the one that's closer to the stairs. Here's what I say, here's what I say. Here's what I say. Okay. Gillian and Gillian. Jay begins to walk towards you both. What do you start doing? Okay. You don't see her. You just hear steps. Oh, oh wait, you're you hear fucking right. We don't see shit. I was gonna give you a chance to defend yourself, but there's like no. We move in a. I move in a circle. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. All right. I do the same. We we start we start mixing up like cups. We start moving in circles. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You hear the steps approach, and then they start moving in circles. Okay. Make your call. Heads or tails. Which one's who? Okay. <laughs> do you want to be heads or tails? I'll be heads. I'll be tails. <laughs> That's heads. Now roll the hit. I don't know. I'm trying. Okay. Natural 20. Holy shit. <laughs> oh my God. You you feel the mightiest slap on your back you've ever felt, Gillian, <laughs> Gillian too. No, because <laughs> it's your fucking you know, arm strength damage is zero. <laughs> so when it's crit, it it's still zero. <laughs> it's still zero to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny and sad. Yeah, Jesus. I'm, I'm so minus one sad. strength. Oh my god. <laughs> That's why I have the hat, the, the Smash Brands. Yeah. Either way, you get tagged. Okay, I get and tagged. Whispered next to you. All right. He's gonna walk away. <laughs> Still invisible. Okay. And then my action triggers and the illusion <laughs> dissipates. Yep. And the real Gillian pops out of the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta roll for that, bro. Griffin's sitting on the barrel. Oh, wait, you're right. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. I you try and get out of the barrel head. and just shoot it. Right, what am I rolling to get out? Just like a strength, I guess. Okay. Just I rolled a 13. No fucking way. Okay. That's enough, all right. Dude. All right. 
you see <laughs> Gillian <laughs> melt into water and from inside the barrel, you say, ah, you've fallen for my trap. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ow. No, Gil, she didn't fall for it. Did you want me to get up? Sorry. Oh, it's fine. He gets up. Okay. Wait, I didn't. Who got tagged? <laughs> I walk over. I walk over slowly to Gillian and I just touch him. You. <laughs> <laughs> Roll an arm strike, bro. Fuck. That's a 13, but he's prone just, under this, right? He doesn't, he doesn't have armor. He doesn't have any armor. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> <laughs> you right. You right. You got the bad touch, bro. Okay. It was a good plan, though. This time it's Ollie. He looks up. He walks towards the sitter. Yeah. He sticks out his hand. Yeah. And the coin lands in it. And then Gillian dies. <laughs> <laughs> Game. Oh, <God. laughs> so yeah, Charlie, uh, do you want to keep playing Gublek or? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So here's the crazy thing. You tag Gillian. And then his skin starts to melt. And you see as nope. it becomes a purplish substance. Hee-hoo! I have got you again! You oh, have we're done with this! More. And then Gublak uh, uh, runs back into the ship and turns into a miscellaneous object, and Gillian walks out of the quarters and says, Hey guys, what I miss? <laughs> <laughs> So I want to get flown around now. He looks at you, Miss uh, Jay. Well, he did win. I mean, I we Please. technically three of us. Uh, yeah, okay, let's. I uh, fucking cast fly and Yippee! take all around for a spin. Hell yeah! It lasts for a while, so like I probably fly around for a bit. Yeah, just follow the ship's course. Speaking of sh uh, ship's course, as you are flying above the clouds and looking at this beautiful dark blue ocean, a few hours pass, and eventually. Throughout whatever uh, uh, other shenanigans you get up to during the day, the familiar uh, fins uh, peek out from the waters on the left and right side of your ships as you hear these oh. sort of uh, eh, laugh from the dolphins, and they arc over your ship and drop off a, a few different deliveries from the Dolphin Postal Service. And then one of them sort of sticks around on the side of the uh, uh, side of the ship there. And it looks like they're just like smiling with their mouth open. And in between their little fins, they're like holding like a little like pouch, like another tube. And on the side of it, it's like taped over uh, uh, like a label that just says tips. Yeah, I throw a gold coin in. They catch it. Nah. And then they disappear again within the waters. I throw 10 gold coins after them. You don't have any money, do you? <laughs> Into the ocean. <laughs> All right. Is anyone picking up the uh, papers before one of the, one of the crew does? All right. I'll pick it up. Man, I wonder how much we're worth now. Uh, you do start reading the paper, and a few of the sheets of wanted posters do fall out uh, from the center collection of this bundle of papers. After you unwrap it, you know, take the rubber band off and then unfold it, they just fall onto the floor. There is 10 posters. Three Damn. of them are yours, but immediately the headline on this newspaper catches your eye, Chip. And Jay, just with your passive observation, you also see it in bold text as you're walking over. Pirates attack all port. It's more like they they attacked us, but you know, whatever. <laughs> and semantics. It's the front page article detailing how the Riptide pirates caused immense destruction to the whole of the world, the capital city of the world. A city that hasn't supposedly, it says, taken damage in many, 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 many years. Oh, God. Of any kind. It talks about how the peace of the world has been disturbed ever since the events of the hole in the sea, further justifying the new wanted bounty system and the criminalization of pirates. It details a so-called Gillian, self-proclaimed murderer of Vice Admiral Kuba Kinta. <laughs> oh my god! What a title. That's going on the list. Goes on to detail the events in this way that paints the situation in Raph's favor as much as possible. Can I look over Chip's shoulder for a second? Yeah, you read the front page as he's reading it. The winning lottery numbers. <laughs> <laughs> turn, turn to the page with those. Hang on. No, it's saying here we, we attacked. We didn't attack anybody. That's slander. Well, we well I mean, I, I did attack that guy, to be fair. They you attacked us. Well, yeah, but then I attacked him. The city. You you damaged the city. That never happens. 
Yeah, in self-defense. We were we were coming straight down, and it wasn't moving. So I I don't know what to tell you. Couldn't you like just I don't know. <laughs> Are you seriously siding with the navy right now? No, I just don't think we should be destroying cities. Well, I don't think they should be trying to kill us. <sighs> and I think it's fair that we do whatever we have to do. To not get killed. Does that not make sense? And for the record, I was 300 feet in the air and you just said, couldn't you have just stabbed him more? I didn't know that. I just thought you like pulled out a anchor. Hey, if there was a, if there was a, if there was a better option, I mean, you know me, you know my judgment. I definitely would have taken it. You turn the page chip and on the other side, it continues the story, but sort of it changes subjects as it details this casualty found in a uh, magic item shop. It goes on to say that this casualty was identified to be a member of Captain Price's bounty hunter organization, which is said to be discontinued in partnership between Raft and this this org as Captain Price is said to be missing. Oops. And this person they found is supposedly the last of Oops. that org. It is unknown what Raft will do, or if they were outlaw bounty hunters or not, but there are rumors, as this uh, writer of the newspaper states, that they will go on to hire mercenaries or something to do the work, have control over it themselves. That's that girl that stabbed Earl and ambushed us. Yeah. What happened? We handled it. Bet. Bet. I just imagine Gillian's like chin like right on my shoulder yeah, like yeah, yeah. bet. I look over bet. But next few uh, pages of the newspaper aren't um are just more news throughout the world. Um I'll tell you the ones that catch your uh, interest based on your affiliation. There's one about Noctis and Ooh. how uh, sorcerer Grimm passes away and an unknown heir of their um, of his takes over. The island is still said to not be affiliated with Raft, so it's still neutral. The next one you read is about how supposedly Edison Kingdom declares its affiliation with Raft. The next one is the future of the Paramount Tournament seems to be uncertain and unclear and bleak as Joaldo Island is set to be a brand new Raft base. This all fucking sucks, guys. Shit. Everybody fucking with Raft. I don't think it's much by their own choice. The last thing gives you a little bit of sense of uh, comfort. As you read, uh, the Granberry Pirates strike again, raft warships destroyed in the Vera to Sea. Hey, and it's let's a go. <laughs> picture of just a few different battleships. Um, Man, it'd be so cool if we could call them. And sunk. My head slowly <laughs> creaks and turns to look at you. <laughs> Griffin picks up the wanted posters, handing them out. No, this is ironic. Now I got one. Hopefully, I don't see any old colleagues. Does this mean you have to hunt yourself? Hey, that's kind of funny. Hey, Griffin, go hunt yourself. Like, go fuck yourself. No? Okay, jeez. <laughs> Just say it's not funny. Just don't be silent. <sighs> that's worse. That's worse. That's a worse way to react. <laughs> <laughs> you guys uh, take a look at your wanted posters, I assume. Yeah. Okay. Giving yeah. you're worth 200,000 gold. Whoa. Oh, we saw mine first, though. It's probably going to be the lowest. Alphonse and uh, Griffin actually look over and, and uh, pat you on the back as they look at your poster. Chip, yours is uh, 125,000 gold. Oh, I'll remind my you, motherfucking... I'll remind you that previously... Bro, what? You were 12,000. Gillian, previously you were 18,000. Jay, previously you were 15,000. Now you look at it and it says 80,000 gold and it still says alive. Okay, I thought it was going to say dead. Well, 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 guys. Looks like you've got some catching up to do. This would get us out of debt and in the clear. We'd be we'd be rolling with how much I'm worth. Wow. Are you saying you're going to turn rich. yourself in? <laughs> That's not how bounties work, Gillian. <laughs> no, you're right. Alphonse, let's do a mutiny. Yeah, guys, let's do a mutiny. I'm tired of this uh, lackluster leadership. Well, if everyone's doing a mutiny, I win. Let's rise up. We don't have to take this anymore. The other ones are just from people you've met. The uh, Granberry Pirates, the Jazz Pirates. Now the lottery numbers. You do look through it. You didn't see that there's been any Fuck! mention yet. Oh, 
there's no lottery. Oh, damn it. <laughs> That's the one thing I wanted. Everybody just uh, sort of passes around the news and the new wanted posters, including the ones of uh, your acquaintances and friends and your crew. Alphonse, Griffin. Do we know how much everyone else is worth? I want to know what they're wanted for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know that Griffin is worth about 50,000 gold? Nice. Well deserved. Just because of, pr- like, you. I mean, he tells you, it's like, yeah, they know me. They know I'm dangerous. They haven't seen me commit a crime yet. And then Alphonse, because he blew a hole. <laughs> You're already 50,000. You haven't even done anything, man. That's fucking awesome. And Wrath awesome. Headquarters, he is all sees about like 75,000. Wow. Earl's worth 25,000 gold. He comes out with some juices. He sees this poster. Oh, God damn it. I knew they were on to me. It's a good thing I got out of their wild cat. I could fuck shit. I just think they're juice. mad. I think they're probably just mad that they can't have you juice anymore, to be honest. Honestly, yeah. I mean, I really wasn't paying the tax anyways. Well, that's probably why they wanted you. Yeah, maybe this is just how much you owe in back tax. Oh, you weren't. Land tax is Gillian Dorian. He's right now. He's big of fucking break. There's like, no, there's no new poster for Dre or anything like that. No poster for Queen. Does Ollie have a poster? He's underage. He can't. Surely. Underage people cannot commit crimes in the world of Riptide, which is a cool little world building yep, fact. That's true. I'm gonna say no. Cool. No They've poster. They've definitely for seen him. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. They definitely did. Oh, cool. like yesterday. No Close poster for Ollie. Um, I guess you don't really know why. I know why. I just thought about it. That should be everyone, except for Queen, who is uh, here. Don't worry, <laughs> Queen. We want you. Well, it looks like everybody's <laughs> got a poster except Ollie. And, uh... Uh, you just hear them playing the flute above uh, near Alphonse, near, uh, near the helm now. Who? Gil. Who? Oh! And when I say flute, they've actually pulled out this, as tall as they are, uh, or a little bit taller, almost about six foot long oboe. Oh, an oboe? Yeah. As they're doing their scales, la 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 la. You can, uh, this is what you see. I finally have the design for Queen. What the uh, fuck? Yo. Holy they shit. Have, uh, like, Queen looks scribes. like they could fucking zero to death me, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> they have, like, described that very uh, accentuated tall top hat, and there's this sort of crown of uh, musical staff notes on the, the brim there, uh, sort of under color of this crimson pink, which is also fitting of the sort of ties around their super long uh, white hair and the sort of belts that wrap around, like, the thighs and legs. There's... Uh, musical sort of um, ode, like nods in their outfit, the sort of uh, composer's coat with the frilly uh, necktie and just some uh, high-waisted, like double-breasted pants, and then uh, these, uh, you get it. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen Grizzly just give up on clothing description. What the I was fuck just, I was looking at the lot. Do you lot. need something? I was looking at the boots, and I was like... There's know. no way I'm gonna do yeah. this. Th- these are good service because they just look, they <laughs> look really cool. All, all I want to say is, before I had this design, I pictured Queen as like for some reason just a grayscale member of a barbershop quartet, like just a guy <laughs> that was always there. If Riptide was a fighting game, I would fucking main him in a heartbeat. Probably my favorite design out of any of the crew. This is so fucking sick. Dude. No, this is awesome. They'd be the kind of <laughs> you know. Have you ever seen Skullgirls? Um, yes, the one yeah. character that like pulls out a trumpet and just plays but, an instrument dude, that's for the what I was super. Thinking, it's fucking big band. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah big, band big band is fucking awesome. Yep. Last thing, I mean, they're they're carrying that giant oboe, and their color scheme is just you know those rich indigo, crimson, black, and white colors. Whoa, Queen, you look awesome. Let's include you. <laughs> <laughs> I thank you for allowing me to come on your journey. La, 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 la. Perhaps one day we will rid myself of this curse that allows. It prevents me from finishing. Oh, yeah. This is Queen. He, he can't finish. Can you finish songs. that song? Songs. He can't finish songs. So I may have asked him to. I realize I probably should have run this by you guys first, but I may have asked him to join our band. I'm part of the band. He's part of the band. Part, part of the band. Okay. I mean, listen to You can't argue with that falsetto. Is that what that is? I don't know. I can't lie. Figaro, la, la, I only queen. have a true setto. You're part of the band. they part of the crew? Man, you're part of the crew. And a part of the band is a part of the family. Part of the, part of the family. I suppose I that mean, is the way she goes. La, la, la. That is the way she goes. Though I have never been a pirate before, so I will need assistance learning the ropes. La, 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 la. 
I no, think... it's okay. Most of us hadn't hey, been a pirate before this Queen, either. Queen, I like that you're singing everything. I think everything you say should also rhyme. Yeah, I think it'll help with your curse. Maybe, maybe it would help with your curse to just get in that mindset. I know you are not trying to be hurtful, but the moment I start speaking in rhyme, that is when the curse takes a hold of me. La, 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 la. Okay, don't r rhyme. That maybe use a different scheme. I don't know. I'm sorry. Have you thought about rapping? What is this? Later time. <laughs> we'll get there. Yo, yeah, another freaky character on our ship, huh? <laughs> that's, how, <laughs> that's how we do around here. Just bitch. another kooky dude on the Riptide crew. Got a panda <laughs> robot. Sorry, I didn't mean to rhyme. I know that might be insensitive. And the weirdest of them all, a musician. <laughs> Anyway, I think we should go around and everyone should say something they're thinking or feeling based on the events we just read, okay? You know, I'm, uh, I'm just glad that we're all still at one piece. <laughs> we are. That's not funny because there's nothing that, there's no reason that it should be. On a cruise. Does it look it, like I'm laughing? No, yeah. are. No, because there's nothing to laugh at. No, but we I've, are <laughs> all in one piece. And that's the only thing I have to feel and be grateful for. As if the three of you were lost in that ambush, well, we would have had to break you out of the prison, of course. And I would have once again been directionless. What about you, Griffin? <laughs> <laughs> Griffin, I see that you and Alphonse have been getting along really well lately. What have you guys been talking about? Well, since you guys are never around, we all just kind of hang out. Half joking. I'm actually curious, uh, that lady I shot, she seemed to know you, Jay. Childhood friend of mine, you could say. All right. Yeah. Oh, man. She didn't seem like to like you, though. Got one of those. Seemed like you really crossed a grand line with her. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> Did you really Google? I'm actually proud of him for trying. Yeah, you know, I'm with it. <laughs> um, well, uh, a childhood friend with uh, a raft soldier. I knew you were a Farron, but uh, didn't know you weren't always a pirate. No, I. When I was younger, I was training to be a soldier. Um, it goes hard. And Kira is everything I was supposed to become. Well, she. Alphonse says, Miss J, are you okay? Yeah, I'll be. Well, you seem a little torn up over. over the Navy. What's going on here? <sighs> Listen, I know people are going to die, but. yeah, maybe I am a little torn up about it because. You know, when we were sitting in the water and and she looked down at me and she said, why are you with these guys? I couldn't come up with an answer. You didn't think maybe you because you were doing the right thing? We just ripped a hole in Allport, murdered a bounty hunter and also a Navy vice admiral. Out of self-defense. I mean, yeah, OK, that's. That's not the part I'm worried about, okay? When Koopa Kinta, when Kira said he was dead, all that ran through my mind was, was what if by, by killing somebody, even somebody who's so obviously evil and vicious like Koopa Kinta, what if I'm leaving somebody in the world like how I was left when, when Ava died? You know, and, and all that was running through my mind was she's a little shaky at this point. What's my family going to think? Are they going to judge me? Are they going to look at me with these same eyes that, that Kira is looking at me now? And I don't know. It's 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 hard. It's not easy for me. I didn't know you had such a tough time. I'm, I'm sorry. But you know what we're doing is right, don't you? And, and it's not like Gillian walked up and just killed him. No, they attacked us first, I know. 
I know, but there's there's still that 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 gnawing worry in the back of my head, you know. I, like I always try to justify it that we're we're the good guys, you know. But but what if somehow just somebody we we just aren't the good guys, you know? We aren't we're putting more bad in the world, you know. We've left this this power balance imbalance in the world because I mean you heard what they said in, in the newspapers everywhere we've gone seems to be almost worse off for it now yeah because the newspapers are being influenced it's all I'd rather a power imbalance than Raf just control everything and is it worse Jay or is it just different sometimes difference pretty scary I'm sorry if it made you sad that I pile drive that cat through an entire city at 300 miles an hour. He started it. Look, we're going to war. War's not pretty. At first, I didn't even want to go to war. Because I know what's down that road. There's still time. Look, if you want to do it another way or don't want to do it at all, you're a captain. You can make that call. Maybe there's another way. Right now, though, I think it's the right thing to do. And even if she looked down at you and acted all better than you and is quote unquote what you're supposed to be, she's on the wrong side. She's probably only seen one side. Maybe if she understood what you know, she'd see it your way too. She looked down on you because that's what she's taught. That's all she knows. But you know more. Or you've at least seen more. I didn't get a good chance to talk to her, but she also looked like she wanted to understand. Maybe there is another way. One we haven't figured out, but you will. Maybe. I don't know. I know it's naive to think that um, we're going to get through all this without anybody ever getting hurt. Or, you know, going to war because, let's be honest, Navy, the Navy is, is huge. I mean, bigger than us. I don't know. It's it's still my family, the people have known my entire life, my childhood friend. It's not easy to to just put that all aside and and be okay with everything, even if I know it's something that probably needs to be done. Um, and it's it's something I'm struggling with a lot, obviously. No, I I get it, and I you know I wish I had. The answers. I wish I knew what it was like, but I don't, you know? Um, I know someone who might, though. Your uncle? Hmm. Maybe. The guy who's literally done exactly this? I don't think he went to war with the Navy. Yeah, but he was hunted by his brother. That's true. If anybody gets it, it's him. And yeah, going to war... If we go into war thinking that we can just... talk our way out of it the whole time? Yeah, we might end up being the ones who get killed. You know, I'll be honest. Maybe there's a time and a place. I hope that if we find a way to get out of... maybe not every situation, but... some of them peacefully, then we would take it. Um, because it worried me. I mean, we were in the water. We had the corpse of uh, of Koopa Kinta, and you guys wanted to just go on a rampage and, you know, put not just us, but our crew, but the people in Allport, everybody <laughs> in danger. And, you know, that's that's a lot. 
Jay, they they ambushed us. This is a different story. They were offering us a they way out. They were trying out. to kill us. No. A peaceful end to the conflict. And because they knew we had an upper hand. And if Kuba Kinta killed Gillian in that same way, they'd have slaughtered us right then and there. And you know it. Maybe I was a little mad. The guy's a dick. I mean, he scratched me on the chest and he gave me nightmares forever. That sucked. So that's what I wanted in the moment. I don't know. I mean, Gil seems always ready for something like that. Yeah, man. I mean, he scratched on the chest and gave you nightmares forever. I don't think the good guys do that. This is all a little over my head. But I'm a good guy. And I don't scratch people on the chest and give them nightmares forever. No, I was gonna him. do it. To, I was gonna do it to him though. I was gonna try and give him nightmares forever, but only because he gave you nightmares forever. And yeah, plus, I'm the good guy. You know what they say: an eye for an eye. He leaves the whole world blind. Let's just forget the, the last whole... part, though. Just forget the last part. If you <laughs> yeah. just if you just leave that off. Ollie's just sort of looking back and forth and listening intently to everybody. He grabbed your hand a little while ago, Jay, as you were. And just been sitting there, and uh, the ship um, was not big enough to where you can't be away from everyone unless they're in the other chamber. So mostly everyone is sort of out here just listening into three of you talk about it. Except for Dre. If we're going to lead all these people, our crew, into a war, well, I, I think we better know where we stand. And be willing to do anything to protect them. I'm not saying you're not, but you know, before we dive head first into whatever it is we're about to get into, maybe maybe we just figure this out. Chip, you already know damn well that I would die. I'd sooner die than let anything happen to to any of you or the crew, okay? But what I'm talking about isn't you know doubt <laughs> on whether we should keep our crew safe or or if something had happened, happened to Gillian what I'm talking about is is we had a chance to get away cleanly and you guys wanted to keep going there was n no downside for us you know we've killed Koopa Kinto already he was dead but he's not he'll come back you saw him he said it, right? He said he'll come by. I mean, I trust him. Honestly, as insane and, and evil as he is, they wanted his body. He's not done. And he is evil. Jay, he is... Then we'll kill him again. But that's not it. He is a vice admiral of the Navy. They would put someone like that in power. I won't pretend to understand that. No. Maybe my decision-making process is different than your guys's, but what I saw in that moment was Navy soldiers, hundreds of them, pointing guns down at us on our ship, pointing guns at our crew, and you wanted to keep fighting. We wouldn't have gotten out of that without casualties. We still have Ollie with us, for God's sake. Listen, I can maybe understand, you know, wanting revenge or or wanting to to set things right with the navy but i don't think that that was the time and i worry about jumping headlong into danger like that and and leaving somebody hurt or dead or something because you know maybe the navy does have the resources to somehow bring koopa kinta back from from the dead but uh, we don't <laughs> it's not that i don't recognize that the that navy is is this evil monster and not what it used to be not when i was younger not what I wanted to be a part of, okay? It's just that I, I think we need to be smart about it. I, you know, if you're going <laughs> to fight something, fight it on equal grounds, more prepared, not when we're being ambushed in the literal central city where Navy is, okay? I don't want to see anybody on the crew hurt. I don't want to see anybody dead. And they weren't because we pulled out. We wanted to keep fighting, but we didn't. Because we listen to you. And it's not like we're not going to listen to you next time. It's not like we don't hear you. 
If you weren't there, it might have been different. That's what I'm worried about. Look, it's hard to back down in a moment like that where I feel like we finally have a foothold. It feels a little hopeless sometimes. Well, it's not the only foothold we'll ever have. You know, Lizzie's been planning. And I'm sure that <laughs> when the war begins, we'll catch them off guard. And when we catch them off guard, we're not going to back off. That's fine. At least Lizzie's I not. I don't expect anybody to. But are you going to be okay when they don't? I'll be fine. You say that, but we're... I mean, how many people are in the Navy with the last name Farron? Are you going to be okay if... If we have the upper hand and... And it's your dad? Not Kubikinta? Is that they could come? Not saying I'll make the call, but... It's a lot more... Pirates involved in this than just us. We don't have those ties. Jay opens her mouth to try and say something, but uh, I don't think any words come out. I I don't know how I'm supposed to know how how I'll feel. Um, if that day comes or if I'm witness to that. Look, I'm not saying it to make you feel bad. I'm just... Just trying to make it clear that's the reality we're up against. And if you want to go about it another way, if there's something else that we can do, we gotta do it now. I don't know. I wish I had the answers. I think Jay is probably gonna walk away from the conversation. Hey, at this point. I'll grab her and pull her back. Look at me. I got you, okay? We all got each other. Yeah. I'm not gonna hold it against you if you don't wanna see your dad get killed. I get it. I'm not telling you to just toughen up and deal with it, okay? Just talk to me. Talk to us, your crew. I... Chip, I appreciate it. I really do. I just... I don't think I have anything left to say. Not right now. I just need the process, I guess. Uh, hey, that's fine. Just don't... Don't forget we got you, okay? Yeah. Thank you, Chip. One other thing that Chip uh, forgot to say that you're right about what happened back there. We could have put everyone in danger. I didn't realize it. And you're right. And if I were you, I I don't think I could have answered her either. I don't think right then we were the friends that you'd want to be with. I'll try my best to be from now on. Um, Jay would give you sort of a light smile. Boo! -hoo! Turn this ship around! Put your bitchin' ass, kids! Oh my god! I'm dying! I'm drowning in the angst! A boo! Yeah. Boo! -hoo! What God, do you I want, really man? You well. What do you fucking want, dude? You make juice, bro! You literally <laughs> made a million dollars and got so bored you're back with us, so we know you're not gonna leave! Fucking uh, deal with it! The youngins. Griffin lights a cigar midday here, puts it in his mouth, he says, <clears throat> Hey. We're all prepared for danger. Being a pirate isn't fair. On this world, it'll never be equal footing. But don't worry about it. Because we're cool with it. And not the same pirates as, uh, a lot of the ones 
So, uh, a lot of things aren't going to make sense. But there's good people on this ship. Occupation doesn't determine that. Anybody else got anything really badass to say? <gasps> Bitchin! <laughs> Bitchin! Earl? Stop your crying! Stop your crying, There's Ollie? enough water on this goddamn planet! Uh, I don't... Uh, I don't like seeing you guys all... Sad. Nice! Combo! Alphonse? What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> nice! Yeah, that's right! <laughs> Excellent! <laughs> Queen? I was uh, I was staring off into the the, the water. Just... What a beautiful friendship! <laughs> La! I would write a song about it, but I can't. La! Super, Dre. I think he's below deck. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> the camera pans, <laughs> moves up the main deck onto the crow's nest, where it appears to be Dre napping. And then I turn around and I hold my hands up and I say, Niklaus! And I wiggle my eyebrows like he's somewhere watching us. <laughs> oh, <black. laughs> Who fucking said that? <laughs> Wait your fucking turn! <laughs> uh, Grand Peepa! Nope, didn't work. Gave it a shot. Yeah, if you guys have any ideas on how to wake him up too, by the way, um, I love that. I kind of tried everything. And I'm starting to get a little worried. Yeah, I'll wake up eventually. Probably. Love that attitude. That was my attitude too for like the first four days. <laughs> four days. <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's kind of your problem. If only I was here. Here, here, here. All right, well, the uh, rest of the day goes by. This is only the first day of travel since you left all important. If there's anything else you guys want to do before it ends. Um, she, Jay would probably kind of keep to herself for a little bit. But uh, after a while, I think she would actually take to tinkering on her gun. Okay, I'm. I would like to also be there. As <laughs> 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 uh, I am the consequence, I am the consequence, I am the you consequence, the I am the consequence. <laughs> I would like to practice my sentinel feet at the same time, and the thing I'm protecting something from is I'm protecting the crossbow from myself. <laughs> I'd like to do that. For you, roll. Do you remember the normal rolls? You made me roll dexterity right? like a fucking psychopath with my minus two. <laughs> and so, you're going to do it again. And if you say disadvantage, I'm going to shit myself. Because you've gotten enough pointers by a, this point from Caspian on this specific part of the feat, um, you're not rolling with disadvantage. You're just going to recall the things that you've taught and you're going to practice them by yourself deep into the okay. evening, into the night. It's going to take a little longer um, to get this because you don't have any guidance. But go ahead and roll dexterity as normal. Can I minor? Can I minor illusion of fake Caspian that helps me? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Great. Roll three dexterity checks. All right. What does what does the fake Caspian say? He's my image of Caspian. What does he say, Grizzly? Major or minor image? Minor image. Then he just looks at you and raises an eyebrow, and he looks so smug, like he uh, doesn't. <laughs> um, he is confident he will not lose. <laughs> okay. All right. I I cast it again to make a sound to make his voice say something. What does he say? The first one is a 12. <laughs> what does he say at my 12? The <laughs> What? What? Is, what? What the fuck? He like, like makes a nonsense baby noise. All right, all right. Great, great work. I'm going to roll my second one. Uh, second, one's a, second one's a 14. What do you think of that move, Caspian? Take it away. Whoa. <laughs> oh, God. All right, and here's my final swing. Try and dodge this. And I got an eight. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> God, he's just as smooth as I remember. Bubbling with personality, this one. Squirty. Squirty. <laughs> <laughs> So while that's happening, Jay, you're doing some tinkering. So uh, I think it's dexterity with proficiency for tinkering with those tools. What are you aiming to accomplish here? Kind of inspired by by Kira's gun. I want to try to like imbue my gun with some sort of element, I think is what my goal is. She had a fucking laser, didn't she? That yeah. was awesome. It's awesome. 
Does having that pedal, that that pebble, still help me? The lucky, lucky stone that <laughs> Rufus gave me. Yes, yeah, advantage on on Tinker's tools checks. God bless. But this isn't this isn't like a magical infusion with artificer. This is just something else. This is yeah, Tinker's. Yeah, I'm tinkering. Uh, I rolled an eighteen. God bless. Cool. Uh, that's not even including my proficiency. Twenty two actually. All right, it's going to take just because you're making. Um, you're attempting to invent, craft, tink, tinker together a magic item, I, I believe. Mm -hmm. It's going to take a few successes, but you do have a few days of travel to keep trying. Today is a success. You get pretty far into it. It's inspiring. You're very happy Rufus gave you the stone, but you tinker all the way until the sun sets. And Gillian, just about the same time, you stumble a little bit, but something clicks tonight. Right when he says square D. <laughs> <laughs> it all right. comes together. And you're able to learn the second bullet point of the Sentinel feat. I thought I already had the second. Oh. Then you finished learning the Sentinel feat. What? Shit. Okay, cool. Caspian, I did it. What are your final words now that my training is completed? And I, and I bow to him. Please. And he's already starting to dissipate into mist. Leave me with some final wisdom before you go, my friend. The only thing that's coming to mind right now are Disney quotes. Hakuna Matata, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's in Felipe's. Felipe, where no! I'd like to speak to Ali. I'd like to go hang out with Ali. I'd like to fuck, I'd like to fuck around and Yeah, fair enough. All right, Ali. so while they're doing this, what are you doing with Ali? What do you need to say? So, I would like to just... Pull up on him and scare him first. <laughs> on him. Easy enough. I mean, he jumps around. He backfists you. Definitely hits you with like a, a dirty 20 or something around there. Lord. Have we ever approached this child without a scheme? <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I jump on sure. him and I go, Ollie. He, he chooses fight instead of flight now. Uh, you can take 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Oh my God. Uh, and can he dodge? I take five. Um, Smack. Doesn't goes, matter. Ah! And it hits you. I, I fly back and I ragdoll like Gmod. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I, I'm on the ground. Oh man, it was right in my nose. When are you gonna learn? Oh. <laughs> I always punch when I'm scared. Yep. No, gotta learn that one. <sighs> what are we doing what? today after tag? Huh? I you don't know. You want the run back? The what? What? The run back. What are you talking about? What is the run back? You're it. No, no, Ollie, I don't want to play any games. I don't want to play any games. I don't want to play any games. Oh. Come on, come sit down. All right. I just wanted to say what's up. See how you're doing. Um, We're getting pretty close to your home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How are you How are you feeling about that? You see your mom? Mm. Hmm. It's quoting Caspian now. I'm excited for you guys to meet her, and I'm excited to tell her about all the things that I've done. And I'm excited to show her how strong I am with this belt. Um, I'm excited to get revenge on all the bullies, um, if they're still there. <laughs> I'm excited to see uh, so some other friends I saw in the town. There's this one guy. He's a she's a he's a he's like a um, he runs like a little shop. I always go and see him before I run off to get a school. Is there gonna be a school there? I don't even know. I guess we'll just have to see when we get there. I overheard it was blown up by the government. I think one yeah. of you said that. Yeah, we'll we'll see, you know? I hope my mom's okay. I hope so, too. Uh, but, I, you know, I'm... You know, I'm just... I'm gonna be really sad to see you go. You can always just come back. Yeah, Never. yeah, of course. I don't know, I guess I'm just used to you just being here. Well, Miss J seemed pretty serious about us being in danger. Yeah, no, it, it, it's what's best. It's just... I can handle it, but my mom would be really sad if I died, so... Oh, yeah. No, we gotta hang back for your mom. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I guess I just wanted to let you know that I'll... I'll miss you. That's all. I... And I will come back and see you, and we'll play tag ever after everything's over. Well, 
but I, I, I'm not gonna. I'm. It's not over yet. I'm still here. No, I know, I know, I know. I still gotta catch the shark in the water, and um, uh, we we can walk around the, the island, and uh, maybe we can climb the big mountain behind it. Do like one last little thing. Sure. Uh, yeah, I. I'd do that. <laughs> yeah. We'll do whatever you want, and we'll hang out with your mom and make sure everything's okay. And Chip. What's up? He pulls out this little black booklet. When we went to Albert the first time, they got me this. At the the shop with the with the bed, the beyond. Oh, okay. Well, what's in it? He just like pushes it into your chest. Just don't look at it until you're gone. Okay. Well, you sure I can't read it right now? No, don't, don't. Just wait until you're gone. From my home. I, Please. I I cover my eyes and I open it up. Oh, some really interesting stuff in here. No, no, I'm serious. Okay, okay. I will kick you in the nuts right don't, now. Don't kick me in the nuts. Ollie, no nuts. I'm gonna burst the lump. Don't burst the lump. <laughs> How do you know about the lump? <laughs> what? You said it when you came back from saving yeah, Gillian. Don't, don't remember things like that. Just block that out. I remember I, everything. If I, uh, you I'm an impressionable 12 year old. When you go and hang out with your mom, you're going to tell her. You you should tell her about the awesome times that you had with the very safe pirate crew who taught you about reading and math and, re and reading. <laughs> oh, I'm sure she'll love you. I hope so. I don't think she knows what happened. No, she's she'll probably just be happy to see you. Don't look at it until you're gone. Promise. I won't. Not gonna look at it. I promise. Pirate's honor. So the rest of this first day of travel passes. Sunset, then evening, nighttime falls. As you finish tinkering, the back of the ship near the helm, a little distant from Gillian. You probably have to move because he keeps moving next to you. <laughs> I, I've actually dodged several times. Uh, <laughs> I'm almost breaking that my That's what success looks like. When there's a moment where you're alone, a voice comes into your head. You hear. Jay. Great googly muggly. Is that who I think it is? <laughs> Jay's head immediately slams into the <laughs> fucking table that she's working at. I'm taking off duty hours. Where are you headed? Can I come talk to you? <laughs> Respond with your thoughts. <laughs> Here, no offense, but you know, I feel like it's maybe a really bad idea to, to give you that information as, as a captain of, of Raft. <laughs> um, as much as I'd love to trust you. You gather there's a limited amount of words to say left. How many three. words? Like how many total? Mm -hmm. I can totally. Twenty total. I can know my hands, but I can't trust you to carry in a different kind of virus. Yeah, that's pretty much all you can say. Okay, yeah, word. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I words I wanted to say, anyways. Are there three left for great googly moogly? <laughs> 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 great googly moogly. Kira. There's a pause. It's silent. Nothing comes to you for uh, like a moment. Nobody else hears this again. This is all telepathic. And then you hear her voice again. I won't be working. I mean, his friends. It could just be someone we could meet. Just one with your thoughts. Crazy that she does that, and you always end with great googly moogly everything you always <laughs> say. <laughs> always have ever said, Jay. <laughs> Listen, there's something that we need to do before I'm comfortable with doing that. Listen, there's something we need 
you do before. <laughs> I'm comfortable with doing that. Next time I'm in Allport, great googly. <laughs> <laughs> That's twenty. I she doesn't get the moogly. Something must have happened to her. <laughs> no more thoughts come to your head. Everybody heads uh, to bed. Killing. You go to sleep in your barrel. Oh fuck! I, oh shit! I forgot. <laughs> you got me, dude. You got me. You hit me. You hit me at the beginning with you long rest, and it's fine. And then you fucking got me, man. And you fall asleep gently. The next thing that you see, I want you to know that this is reality for Gillian. It is real. It feels real. This is the present. And you're home. These thoughts about Chip, J, Pirates, the Oversea, feel like a distant fictional story in your head, like a book. You hear your mother's voice call out, Gil, Gil. You're sitting in your old room that you don't even know how you remember. Yeah. But it feels normal. And I know that it's... Yours? Mom? Mom! And I and I run downstairs. Do I catch a glimpse of my own hands and see how, how old I am? You're about the present age. Oh. A little bit, um... Less bulky. Normal wear. Yeah. You rush down the steps. You see the faces of your mom and your dad sitting around this shell shaped like bowl sort of uh, table that rests on the floor as they kind of sit on their knees next to it. She looks up at you. She says, well, Yo, will you get uh, Eden? She's still studying in her room. Dinner is ready. Oh, yeah, of course. What's on the menu tonight, Ma? Mmm. <laughs> eggs. My favorite. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to go, uh, I go run and uh, call for Eden. Eden, dinner's ready. It's eggs. Start heading up the steps down the hall, past your door, to the one on the end. And uh, you go to knock or grab the doorknob and it's cold there's a sense of dread that leaks beneath the door feel your stomach sink your heart drops into it immediate anxiousness like if you open it something is wrong hey mom Yes, dear? Are you still coming? Yeah, just... Just one minute. And I... Slowly creak open the door. You open it to... An unlit... Unwelcoming... Interior... And your eyes catch as the light from the hallway leaks into it, slowly revealing this trail of purplish liquid. Strong, disgusting smell. You keep following the trail with your eyes as it sort of paralyzes your body and it begins to write out words as the light uncovers I'll be and then written on the back wall 
will be. Across a, min- a window. Behind. You read the word back. As it's behind a horrifying dismembered corpse of your sister. It reads, I'll be back. No. You shoot up from a cold sweat in a cold sweat out of your barrel. Yeah. (laughs) And Gillian looks around. What time is it? Still middle of the night. Everyone around you is still asleep. Yeah, I know you'll be back. He's shaken and he's shaky. He reaches out of his barrel and he crafts his sword and he brings it into the barrel with him and he slams his eyes shut and is going to try and kill his dreams. (laughs) The wounds underneath your clothes burn. Go ahead and roll a constitution save. 22. With the 22, these nightmares don't end. And each time they begin, for the first few, it feels real. Every time. Like this life you live right now never existed. But eventually, through the eight hours of this long rest, your subconscious begins to catch on. He tries to stop it. He tries to he tries to somehow save her in a dream. You barely just barely get enough control to take the nightmare and turn it into long enough to be able to sleep. Finding ways to be conscious in them and, and stop the, the terrible things from happening before they happen. I think sometimes he doesn't open the door. You know. Sometimes he wakes up and looks for the conch shell. So you sleep. And it's terrible. But the next day comes. And you won't be exhausted. But you won't forget the nightmares either. Everyone else, you wake up normally. When they wake up, Gillian is just standing upright in the barrel <laughs> with his head, like his hair is like falling straight down over his face. <laughs> he's just like, he's just staring straight forward. You can see he looks haunted, but like angrily haunted. Oh, hey, Gil. Uh, you want breakfast? I walk away. I walk into the kitchen. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> I see that shit every day in the mirror. Oh, Gil, you look like shit. What's up with that? Don't say that. Is this another nightmare? Mm, okay, you want breakfast? <laughs> what are we having? <laughs> I'm making eggs. <laughs> wake up, 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 wake up. And start smashing this in the fucking room. Start smashing in the fucking room. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Don't go through the fucking door, Jay! Sounds like somebody's excited for eggs! I know it's hilarious, but every nightmare, even if they subtly change, it always starts with eggs for dinner, eggs yeah, for he's, breakfast. Yeah, I'm, I'm like not, he's yeah. not doing a bit. You just hear Gillian screaming below the deck as you walk up the steps and go out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I, wa- I walk upstairs. Mm, no eggs! Okay. Okay. You want toast? Toast? Yeah, some bacon. I love some toast. Where is where's every egg? Hey, man, is there some un like no undisclosed egg for related, horses? Egg eggs. related trauma? I, we can get you all the eggs you want. Well, there's a lot. I don't, I don't want any. I don't want. Any, I don't want. I don't even want to hear the word. Eggs are ruined. Sausage or bacon are fine. 
and I'm gonna go and collect every egg. But I like those. They're my favorite breakfast food. I look at Jay, and my <laughs> mouth is agape, and I look at her, and I go, he take all the eggs. <laughs> right out. There's like crates in the chilled storage. And this way, no one will ever get hurt again. And I take all of the eggs. <laughs> no. Gilly, and no. I throw them <laughs> overboard. Hey, my oh shit. What the fuck is the matter with you? No more eggs. You better start laying them then. He can do that. Oh, they're <laughs> staying in me. <laughs> I'm saving them up for someone special. Uh, I don't like you this morning. You're kind of scary. All right, bacon and sausage it is. Hey, someone <laughs> check that man out. Um, I think you, you need a you wanna... therapist next for our next crew member. Oh no, I feel much better now. And he drags the chair again. And sits down at the head of the table. So bacon and sausage. Yummy. Yeah, yummy. I feel like you're saying such normal things in such a scary way. Do you mean it? Do you mean you that's yummy or what? Mm, mm, mm. Why are you being scary right now? It's so early to be scary. <laughs> I think it's pretty fucking late to be scary. What does that mean? I look over at Jay <laughs> and I'm just like, can we, can you, I wanted eggs. You need to talk about it, Gillian. Please talk Shit. to him. If you eat eggs, you die. Don't you fucking get it. It happens every single time. There are no more eggs on the boat. I don't understand. They're a good source of your morning protein. Listen, it's all right. You don't need them. You don't need them. There's plenty of other ways to get protein. We'll figure it out. The problem is eggs are a bad one and we'll kill you. Why, why the eggs? Gillian, explain the egg-related trauma, please. Yeah, this is just a week ago you were feeding us eggs. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're not. You don't sound like it. You're being weird. Show him. I mean, I showed Chip the, the fucking nightmare scar. Filled with the black kind of pulsing uh, liquid that just barely leaks out as he raises it up. Whoa. Thought I'd make it more than a night without having to show these puppies off. Oh. He's bad. Uh. We'll hold off on the eggs then. But why egg? Oh, never mind. Um, what was? Was it like a bunch of eggs attacking you? <laughs> Here, wait. I I have an idea. I have an idea. Um, I want to grab the bracelet off of Jay. Would it be okay if I saw it? Are you really sure? Been there before. I don't know, man. I really don't know what this one. It's up to you, but... That way you won't have to explain it or relive it or anything. You got the scars. It's bad. I know you're strong. And I trust you. But you can just take my word for it. It's bad. If you really want to see. And Gillian pulls his arm out. So you guys know that these bracelets, the way they work is if you want to see them, he does have to think about it. Oh shit, I thought I could just see in his brain. Yeah, but he'd have to think about it to show you it. I think he's thinking about it. Yeah, Ready if he fails to save, then you could see, like, the very deep subconscious thoughts that he's not aware that he's thinking about. But if he's willing, right? We've done that before where he's where they're willing. And it, I, like, I, I mean, I don't I don't think that he can get it out of his head, man. Like I, These, uh, yeah, I mean, the nightmares aren't, like, subconscious or anything like that. Yeah. yeah. So I'll, I'll, put the, I mean, I'll put the bracelet on him and the bracelet on me. Yeah. It's actually, it would be, a, like, a homebrew version 
of Detect Thoughts specific to these bracelets because usually you don't get like images and pictures. Right. You just get their thoughts. But uh, since these are special bracelets, we'll say that you can. All right. Service level thoughts immediately. Um, it replays. I mean, at first you're at the door and you have your hand on it. Mm hmm. And you get that same that same feeling that if you open this, something really terrible is going to happen. Do I see the I'll be back? Eventually you would. You'd recognize Eden. And you'd know that every time it started with the X. And you'd know that every time afterwards, he tried to make the, the dream meaningless somehow. Right, to go downstairs, to destroy things, to do whatever, but um, she was still dead. Stretches them out longer and longer, but it always ends the exact same. Yep. Oh my god! <sighs> was there another way to save her? I take the bracelet off slowly. Okay. Um... Ah, oh, that's... It's not great. And the, the writing. He, I, he just wanted to worm that in there, I think. Yeah, why wouldn't he? We've got plenty of other breakfast foods. I can take no, it. Hey, it... No more... No more eggs. No more eggs. And hey, when he comes back, we'll be ready. And we'll kick his fucking ass. Again. Yeah. Wonder if he's gonna miss this. And I put his fucking hand on the table. <laughs> I just I just look down at it. I like to imagine there's a silence and we all just look at it. Dunk. <laughs> Come on, man, I'm eating. Holy shit. Why do you just have that on you? That's a hand. That's just a That's hand. That's a hand. That's a hand. Alright. Now I think we all know what we have to do. Prove something once and for all. Jay, touch this. Feel how soft it is. Okay, it can't be that soft, just, okay? It's, feel it. Just yeah, feel it. Like, I don't even like it. Feel the alert to touch it and figure it out. Put your because, hand. Because, like, you know, if I was hiding, I rub shag, it against her. I rub it against her cheek. Shag carpet Holy meets, shit, that is so meets soft. velvet meets right? alpaca fur. What the fuck? What, what do you think he does for, like, I don't know. Care? It's got to be some kind of conditioner. <laughs> he uses conditioner. He has to. Guarantee. <laughs> no way he doesn't. Next time we see him, if he comes back, like for real, I'm gonna ask. You don't think it's two in one, and do then, you? There's no then, way. No, there's no way. Couldn't be two in one. Two in one doesn't provide this level of softness. That's barbaric. No, not even a single. But split then again, end. he is. He is. You want the secret to air care? <laughs> I got him. I'm, bro, I Look don't know how to tell head. you this. <laughs> <laughs> he takes off the straw hat. No! And he points to the one singular hair. This is intentional. Oh, I guess that's why you didn't say hairs, care. Exactly. Or too soon. Mm, yeah. And I throw him off the ship. <laughs> 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 oh, man, Earl. Is, uh, never mind. Not my thing. How did we get rid of my curse again? Uh, we went on an entire fucking quest <laughs> to an island to go yeah, to a giant, right. like, evil, evil fucking Halloween boss to kill him, to, like, take a wish from his soul. So, so I'm then, fucked! And then, you, and then you didn't actually take the wish, and we went... Where did we go? Oh, no, yeah, you we did. Went to no, a, we had to... Well, we... Well, no, he I resurrected cut his head off, so he only gave us... Yeah. Well, oh, you, you did. resurrected right. the people who died, and then we went the to fuck fucking we Liquidus, removed? and then we went to like the fucking oh, Church we went of the, the Sun, and we had to we fight to his demons, like literally. Grand oh Temple yeah, of the we moon. literally the moon, we did the, the whole thing where you summoned a fucking antimatter rifle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, your demons yeah. to death. My God! <laughs> oh, my God! 
Ollie helped with that. Uh, um, yeah. yeah. Wait. No, okay. it was Felipe. Felipe had the anti matter rival. Felipe could beat my demons. He's probably if beating only them right I now. Was here. He's fighting yeah. his own demons at the moment. Well, I will. Um, I will simply train myself never to dream again. <laughs> oh my god! Here's what I do. I go up to. G hey, Gil! I have an idea. Come over here. What's up? Okay, I've been thinking about this all day, racking my brain. How could we get uh, any kind of just release from these dreams for you, right? I want to make sure that you can go to sleep safe and sound and there will be no problems. I've thought about it a whole bunch and I think we should smoke a lot of this. Yeah, man. I mean, I'm in a dark place. Fuck it. Uh <laughs> <laughs> okay. Meet me down below deck and... Should we tell Jay? Should I tell Jay? I'm scared to tell Jay. Let's tell Jay. I think she'll be fun. Hey, Jay. Hey. We're gonna go. We're gonna go smoke a Jay. Have fun. Oh, can you I win? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just fish. <laughs> you get the shark. <laughs> yeah, we probably should have one adult like functioning. <laughs> um, Jay, you got. I start eating it. I start eating it. No, 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 that's not going to do anything. Hey, hey, no hey, way. Hey, um, hey, I'm like, hey, you form in a circle. You lighten up. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> come come down to the to the quarters. Yeah, I'll get my hey, bamboo. Hey, Earl, I got an idea that'll help your arthritis. <laughs> how did you fucking, I don't have, both. wait a second. I'm still in the ocean. I got thrown off the boat. Help, help. Hey, queen. You want some inspiration? <laughs> Queen, I have an idea how to fix this writer's block. Yes. <laughs> All right. Hey, Alphonse. Let's do this. I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, I'd like... Is there something I can roll to roll? <laughs> what? <laughs> is there something I can roll to... Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> he got it, he got it, he got it. <laughs> No, 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 you don't need to roll. You're good. Chip rolls the C's worst joint ever seen. You don't roll. Seen. I just said you don't roll. <laughs> but I, I have do a question. Roll. No. I have a question. You don't need to roll. No, but he has to roll. But he has to roll. But no, I have, you don't. But you I have to... I'm, I'm the dungeon master. I'll tell you. you what are we going to do if he doesn't roll? roll? That's Smoke fine, but I, but I still have to roll. Yes. And I'm <laughs> saying you don't have to roll. Okay, then I won't roll. I'll just roll. Is there wait? So okay. is there like another magical way to it. do it? Because as far as I know, I don't think we have the capacity. But like we don't, we can't. Well, we could bake him into anything. We could bake him into something if he can't roll. But rolling is kind of what no he's. No one disgusting. needs to roll right now. I'll tell you when you need to roll. Okay. okay so who's rolling? Is okay. someone else so rolling? I'm rolling. Nobody's rolling. <laughs> well, 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 how are we gonna get anything done here? Someone's gotta roll because it's just gonna sit there if no one rolls. Oh my god. Okay. Good. God damn it. Okay, while they're doing this, Jay, just roll perception, because I told you to. Yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> I can't tell if you're, like, in on the bit or if you're, like, really <laughs> upset about this. It's an eight. Oh, that means a lot to me, man. No, I'm in on the bit. Okay, I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure. I'm just really good at it. Being upset with you, that is. <laughs> I'm kidding. It's a joke. You look sad now. Don't be sad. No, I'm not sad. <laughs> okay, drink your water and roll. But don't. Is he in on it? I literally can't I, tell. I, I feel like he's like I playing make, this like Among Us style. Like I make a bong and I say fuck it to all of this. I would like to use prophetic screw up to take the fattest or worst rep of my life. <laughs> is it? Is it? I, I I would like to use this to either have a a a great medicinal experience or the worst experience of my life. Is that possible? Gillian takes one hit and has I, a panic attack. I would like attack. to use preventing scrub. But it only works on attack rolls, so I'm going to attack this roll with my mouth. And uh, <laughs> what a show we run here! God. Just roll it. Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! No, don't. Uh, the, the show. <laughs> until the I sh tell you to. <laughs> the show right, where I um, teach you how to roll a joint. Chip rolls the fattest backwood known to man. This is going to be a con save. They're going to be side effects no matter what. I roll it like one of those popper fireworks and then fucking eat it. <laughs> <laughs> but go ahead and roll con save to see how many side effects you are under. All right, oh, Gillian, God. you're just going to inhale really hard. Are you ready? Yes. On three. One, two, three. <laughs> Gillian becomes a true unhinged villain as he rips this. That's a success then on an 11. It is my destiny to rip this bong! 
<laughs> okay, Chip, go ahead and roll. Okay. 12. You fail. Old Man Earl passes, but Griffin and Queen you fail. fail. You fail the weed check. Oh my god, I failed <laughs> you the weed die. check. So for Old Man Earl and Gilliam, um, you're gonna be, you're gonna have disadvantage on perception. Great. You're gonna have disadvantage on, like, wisdom saving throws. <laughs> And they're gonna have disadvantage on initiative. Okay. That's about it for you, Chip, and everyone else. I think it's that. Your wisdom temporarily is going to drop to eight. Oh my god. Wait, no, mine was already nine. Never mind, I'm chilling. Oh my god, you had low wisdom. He just drops one then. You have disadvantage on perception, um, wisdom saving throws, initiative, like I just told him. You will take a point of exhaustion. Let's go. So you are just slumped, bro. I don't know if you know this, but weed actually does generally stop you from dreaming. It's also poisonous, right? No, no, weed? I guess it depends on the weed. It cannot kill you, no. Okay, okay, cool. We can't kill There's you. There's no intoxication. Makes you bonker. <laughs> okay, I got. I, I Give you a panic reading. attack, but that's like the worst. No, 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 I was just making sure that you guys don't take like any kind of damage with it if you fail. <laughs> you imagine <laughs> if we just ripped this bong and died. <laughs> Well, it just depends on how hard you cough, I guess. So, Chip, for you, uh, you imagine this is going to last the rest of the day until nightfall. So you long rest. Let me get in character. Uh, Gillian, you don't know how long it's going to last. Probably, like, not as long. So, Jay, with your eight. Hey. I'm guessing they're they're in your room below deck mm -hmm. or in the cruise quarters. Which one is it? Imagine just, like, where the common place. Like, the kitchen. Okay, so behind you, you're on the, like, the... <laughs> You just there's just like smoke leaking out from the door, and Ali is sitting on the railing, fishing. Alphonse is at the wheel. What are you doing? We're gonna get the gun done first. Okay, go ahead and just roll again. The same thing. I also just found out I have tool expertise from Artificer, so my proficiency bonus is doubled. Cool. That's a lot. Um, three twenty nine. Okay, so you have a six, uh, a sec, a second very hard success. Um, you're getting so, so, so much closer to finishing this infusion and then just the, 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 the magical tinkering. It's so much easier when Gillian isn't around. You're so focused. You, um, don't notice until you're done the sounds of Ollie, like, straining. Yeah, and, uh, and then you look over and you notice that he is, like, parallel or a perpendicular to the deck, his feet on the railing, holding all the way back, grasping this fishing pole as it is, is bent almost in half in the waters at the moment. Uh, and at this point, Alphonse is also behind him, holding uh, the, the pole with him. Oh, holy shit. I'm going to run down. <laughs> guys! <laughs> guys! You burst open the door. You get hit with a blast of fucking... It's a wave. I think she Gillian should immediately have to make a con save, to be honest. Gillian, for the first time in your life, your mouth is dry. <laughs> what is this? Guys, guys. What is this, my mouth? Oh, he's got it. Oh, he's got the big one. This is sharp. Water. Jay, look. Water. Jay, look. Water. Chip. Water. <laughs> I, st I, st I, I stumble out. I stumble out. I need water. I need water now. <laughs> yeah. He just put his face in his mouth. He just can't stop. Chip, Chip, get a hold of yourself. <laughs> All he's in trouble, Chip. What? What? Oh, he's, got he's got the shark. He's got the shark on the line. Nah, I lied about that shit. <laughs> it's no shark, Jay. That's not real. He's got it's something big on the handle of line. Him and Alphonse can't get it. Like, Every, everybody yeah, okay. feels the ship because it sort of like shakes uh, violently. Uh, no, man. No, by something no, man. No, man. No, man. <laughs> Everything's no. off balance for you guys. No. Oh. Somebody needs to get Gillian some water. <laughs> get him some water. I'm, gonna I'm turning into sand. I'm sand. I'm sand. I'm oh. I'm going to run away. I'm going to run back up to Ollie. They're not listening to me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you run all the way back up. You see uh, Ollie is still struggling. And uh, uh, I walk up leisurely. Chip, you, you, would, you would technically be way more gone than Gillian is. <laughs> He's like not even receptive anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, as soon as you get up there and Ollie's holding it, the fishing pole snaps in half uh, and gets taken into the sea. And he goes, oh, no, I lost it. 
And then he runs over uh, with Alphonse and you do as well. And as you look over the railing into the water, you start to see this like cackling or crackling electric energy in this massive shadow beneath the ship. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys once again feel this from the bottom of your ship as it gets kind of knocked up in the water and everyone inside of that chamber who has been uh, uh, <laughs> um, hotboxed tumbles over uh, and giggling. And for you, Jay, go, actually, everyone just on the ship right now make a dexterity seven throw. Ship, I kind of want to go in. Uh, Ollie rolls a natural one. Do it, bro. 13. Well, what if it's like, like Dexter the Inch? Alphonse rolls a five. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. Maybe it's your, maybe it's your destiny, I, too. It could be. I'm, I think destiny is subjective. Remember that one time I was a ball and you brought and you made me come out and it was like, just like this. I got a fucking 20 DM. What are, you gonna, are we in a game? <laughs> oh, it's all a game hey, is, that a, is that a 20 including your aura or without your aura? What, who, what the fuck are you talking about, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Jay, um, you fail by one. You just oh, get knocked prone really. onto the ship. Uh, chip. You keep you know, both Chip and Gillian. You guys just kind of go with the flow, but Gillian, uh, but Griffin flow, gets like man. knocked over and he like tumbles and he like almost forms into like a ball. He kind of rolls around. I'm just rolling with it. What the shit? Is that <laughs> what we do? <laughs> <laughs> However, the situation is much dire on the top deck. Jay, whoa, when you get knocked over. And the ship gets lifted out of the ocean almost. You see both Alphonse and Ollie tossed overboard over the railing into that cack that crackling uh, uh, the waters. And then there is this massive burst of water, and your eyes meet right where they fell. This incredible, large enough to devour your ship, serrated with rows and rows of dagger-like teeth shark-like in appearance with these golden sort of streaks of like bolts on its uh, leathery skin giant massive monstrous hey maybe you should get ollie and the other one and i'll start stabbing which one is ollie the Boy. gigantic electric megalodon <laughs> He's the kid, man. He's the kid. He's Goes to take boy, a chomp dude. out of both the section where Ollie and Alphonse fell and the hey, back of your ship. Come on! What are you doing? Stop! And it rolls a natural Stop. twenty. Stop! I want to run at it and go to stab it. No, no, I, 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 st I try to stop by saying, no, man, we just had what? this whole talk what? with Jay. We need to talk. We need to talk about these things. We can't just keep being these people and stabbing things. Hey, can I, can I do a reaction? It's a fun reaction. Yes, you get, you do get, you specifically, because you were here, do get one reaction. You are prone, but Chip's swords, uh, the magic has been alarming you guys. For a while now. Um, yeah, I would totally jump into the water after Ollie <laughs> and Alphonse. People are dying, man. Okay, we gotta we gotta, we gotta <laughs> smarten up. Is B picked a bad time? And now Jay's in the water. We, we, we gotta, gotta be those. This. What are we listen. doing again? What are we doing? You're you that listen, guy. You, you listen look to at me. me. You, you listen, listen to me. You look right in my eyes and you tell me what you gotta, what, who's gonna, when, what you gotta do is be I'm here in the right now for us. I drop my <laughs> swords. They're just hanging from the chains, like <laughs> flopping around. I grab him by the shoulders. It's your destiny to fuck that thing up, dude. The entire back of your <laughs> ship, right next to your feet almost, are the teeth as it sinks into the backside of this entire ship. You're Gillian motherfucking titty sucking tide strider. <laughs> They're gone. They're gone. We're dead. <laughs> <laughs> I look him dead in the eyes and I say, How'd you know my middle name? And I turn, <laughs> I turn to this thing and I say, I just took the second fattest rip of my life because now I'm going to rip you. I'm going to, uh, 
And that's gonna be the first fattest. And that's gonna be the first is I'm gonna rip you apart. Bitch. <laughs> and then I'm gonna try and high five Chip. <laughs> that's um that's where we're gonna end the session. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next you episode, can end it all you want. See. I'm coming back with this. <laughs> we will roll initiative in the next episode and see if these two high buffoons <laughs> can save <laughs> their friends. <laughs> it's so half of our sh- Dude, Gillian just thinks- And their ship. What if Gillian just thinks this is just what we does? <laughs> <laughs> this is actually fucking disastrous for you guys. I'm Gillian, so scared no, for Jay no. and Ollie and Alphonse. Now this is some fucking kush. <laughs> I fucking love this. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. See you guys in the rolled on patreon.com. Just roll it by. The just roll with it episode has ended, which leaves you here with me. I will now read the names of those who support this show, starting with Bumpus King. Thank you for your support. Rosso the Red. Teeny Ghosts. Gem is Rad. Willustrator. It is C Fresh. Me Forever M8 Skiltaboo Stoost Dude Serizaku Charlie Darling Songbird Cody Duke Bazo Zo Bloke Fieri Catus Betus Epicris You Will Rue the Day Farmer Gamer L underscore Ukers Jonathan Bleak, Lemon Leviathan, Dapper, Mike Roch, Hollow Headed, A Moon Beast Fan, I am also a Moon Beast Fan, Bree Lee, Daxi Boy, Vapor, O Kerberos, I'm Butt Flusting, Agar Steeljaw, Beans, The Big Grumpy Void, Jades2604 LOL Jades Oh Joey Madness Sweet Cacti Baka7 Cal's the Folded Pizza Zone The Awesome Man Fly Guy Man Made Imp Jordan Darlin I am in your walls Not a threat that is just the name Red Sus over Paradise, Mr. Nacho. Wild James, Kev Senpai. I have Jay died. Now I am Jay dead. Mitchell Iverson, Mithril Gear 417. I'm switching over to the other page. Boss Goat, Captain Lafayette, Grand Archer. Narwhal Shellfish, Rykor Teasen, Krobins, Deathclaw, Sandy 007, Apple, Blue Blen Blop, Big Blue Bear Boy, Zerberus, Elvish Cyborg, Lord Ticklefish, Spinyax, Buttery Toast, Gillian's Biggest Fan, Cornea Comet, Sorcerer Punk, Riker Kurotu, Nonslottle, Funny Hats Incorporated, JRWI Enjoyer, and finally, J. Newell. This will conclude the list of names I have been employed to speak aloud. I would now ask that we spend the rest of eternity in silence. <laughs>